Yes. Can't hear. No, I'm just not talking. I'm just not talking. Sorry, surplus. My bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can now. Okay. Um, sorry. I'm just doing this thing here. Um, there we go. Okay. Just give me a second. I will uh, be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, so all I did was set up uh, this for OVN. How was surplus, by the way? How did you get your wisdom teeth pulled? Um, let me open this up. Okay, there, I can press this now. I just have to turn off my lights and fill up my water, so we should be good now. I've seen many a playthrough on this game. Really, I know nothing about this game. Um, I just know, oh, this is a horror game, yeah. Um, so I know nothing about this game. I just know that it is, you know, good. Uh, yeah, eating and talking is painful, yippee. No, I'm sorry. Is it like your your mouth is like super like blown up, I guess? How, how was it though? How was the experience? Let me lower the volume. Uh, auto advanced text off, no. Play queen, woohoo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, one, two, three, seven, four, eight, three, nine, two, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, and money sign, money sign, money sign, money sign, money sign, money. Auto forward time, I don't think so. Full screen, skip, unseen text. Um, okay. I'm just trying to figure out the volume slider. How do I want to do this? I think this is okay. If anything, I can always, uh, you know, re, um... It's actually fine, way better than I expected. I feel pretty much fine when I'm talking to you. Okay, well, that's good then. I I'm glad. Do you have, did you have to go through, I mean, probably you had to go through a lot of anesthetic, but, uh, yeah. How are you doing, Dianea? Let's go into this game. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. So I don't really know anything about this game. I just know it's a very, very good horror game. Okay. So I think I'm just going to save here, just very beginning. And then we're going to continue. Can't hear the game. No, why can't you hear the game? Mm. You guys still don't hear it. Okay. This game can definitely be considered a horror game, but it's pretty detached. What do you mean by it's pretty detached? Um, I just know the, what is it? It was, this was on my, like, I just heard a lot of good things about this game, so I had it on my wishlist for a long time, and I saw it recently went on sale, and I think it's very fitting for the, uh, you know, horror thing. It's more like Stanley Parable than it is FNAF. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. Why can't you guys still not hear the audio? Okay, well, I guess I have to remove this. Then add there. Uh. There, surely you guys hear now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you, wait, no, do you? Yes, you do. Okay, good. I'm glad for you, Dianea. I'm very happy for you. Dianea is thinking of the chat room. What do you want me to do about it? What can I do? Okay. 
Explore. Oh, okay, wait, this is a choice here, so I think I'm gonna save here. Right at this choice. Uh, right here. Okay. The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though. Can't someone else do this? Forget this. Okay, I'm guessing explore is just normal dialogue, so that's okay. Bro's gonna spam saves, isn't he? Well, isn't that choices affect your actions game, isn't it? So I want to go back and go see all the choices. Also, I'm traumatized from... Uh, I have no mouth and I must scream. What'd you do today, guys? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Okay, so we're going in. We just have to put an end to her. That is like what the game is, I guess, trying to... Don't... Uh, like just <laughs> hammer it home. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Saving is completely unnecessary in this game. In fact, your experience will probably be better without it. Really? But if I want to go back and experience different choices, would I not have to play through the entire game again? Uh, do you have any evidence to back this up? You're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? No, you'll be fine. If okay. You made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Well, no, no, because I'll I'll play through the entire game, right? I'll play through the entire game, reach to the end. Like I won't change anything, and then I go back after to experience all the endings. That's at least how I'm imagining it. Have you said maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's well, locked up? I appreciate the mental exercise we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Okay. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's... She's locked, locked up because she's... Okay. So why is the princess if dangerous then? To waste even more of our time by asking how I know that. Let me suggest a more pragmatic. Most visual, yeah, I think situation. so. Causality doesn't matter here. I'm just gonna shut up. You'll agree with me eventually. No okay. What led us up to this point? If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. I don't know why saving wouldn't matter. I guess we'll see. Yeah. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. No, the chicken or the egg is hatched and about to... Okay. Unless, so course, the egg came first anyway in this in this uh, scenario, is what he's saying. So unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. I mean, princess is kind of bad, Doesn't though. It? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is Well, I think, you know, you need figureheads in society, you know, so that people can look up to. And society. princess could could be that, you know? So slaying that could be, um, you know, it could lead a, like, you know, empire or whatever to war and potentially ruin. So I think it is, it does matter. Of course, murder doesn't, like, work for any of these people. Like, you know, it's bad to slay a fisherman or miller or seamstress, but still... Oh, if only that were the case, but I don't make the I don't even see what that dialogue option was that I pressed. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No okay. matter how much I wish I did. Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists. Or it's definitely not very, very very evil yeah. people, <laughs> Why is my hopes? name now Delphin Hot Tour? Why is that my name now? Where did that come from? Uh, do I get some? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Okay. Can you not? Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me what her prize is? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward. 
just for you. Are we gonna get murdered what afterwards? After be? we slay the princess? I promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Uh, look, I'll just go into the cabinet and talk. If she's bad, then maybe I'll slay her, but I'm not gonna make anything if they ever had a chance. Yeah! Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But I could never call you a name like that. If you go in prepared I see, to yeah. Out, yeah, that's a much better name, Surplus. Thank you for that. Web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Uh, then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure. Girls do. No, that's a lie. I don't so think so, Diana. I think you're trying to spread false information here. Oh wait. Okay, we have to go. Okay. the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay. I guess we. This is uh, us like choosing to walk up here. You read that, Nate, and when you reveal that you skipped the best scene in Homecoming. On a forgettable movie, I skipped the best scene. Wow. That is, uh, I guess that is, um, that is something. Go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to oh, so this is the, the hero. Not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, wait, is this someone else? Okay. I guess the only option I have is to proceed into the cabin. So let's go. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a I fine I think he puts is a poopy dumb nincompoop. Dine is not an oni, you absolute gooner. Perched on that Who am I talking to here? Who am I calling blade. the gooner? The only furniture is a... So, so why is the blade, the blade on the table? Your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Explore, take the... Oh, so you can choose not to take the blade. No, we're gonna... We want to just take the blade and then enter the basement. We don't want to... We'll talk to her and then see if we want to slay her after. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save oh, okay, the world okay. without it. I see, yeah. You're right. Uh, okay. Enter the basement then. I should have saved before to get the knife, but... It's fine. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. Wow, this will be a quick. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. From the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Okay. Her voice. How do we even get here? The stairs. Who's there? That's not what I expected the voice to sound like. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Do we want to call out? Let's think. We're here to slay the princess. The narrator is trying to drill that it is this bad thing. But I, wa I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to blindly trust the narrator. So I'm just going to continue down the stairs, I think. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's oh, but one of the chains chain are broken. Her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Hmm. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? How, but how is it? I don't get it. If she's really a threat to the entire world, how does this one chain stopping her? Focus on the task at hand. That's what I don't get. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? And are you, uh, no, why did you even think that? Okay, yeah. I haven't decided that yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Yeah, okay, well, we'll talk. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. That's the voice of the Don't hero. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do. Yeah, after, after we, we talk, talk, yeah. Maybe she really is a monster. Murder, Killing murder. I can realize murder, murder is really fun to spend it on mobile. <laughs> Why just on mobile is it fun to uh, talk? Or uh, to spell it out? Uh, I'm gonna... I, you see, I don't want to drop the knife, right? 
but I want to talk with her because if she's really dangerous, then I don't want to like have the only way to kill her like just be go gone like that, right? So I want to tighten my grip but just talk with her. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Okay. You step forward. Your grip on the blade. I don't want to kill her yet, so I just want to talk. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Okay. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I No, do. but she's still saying I should drop it. We're gonna keep it. I, but I do still want to talk. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she is what if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? Can we just talk? I'm just gonna save here. I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. You're so close. Don't give up. You've come this far. No, can I just not talk no, to her? This is a good idea. Maybe we can de-escalate. Yeah, things. I think it's good to de-escalate. Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. I am not dropping this knife. Yeah. Then I'm not talking to you. Okay, then I'm killing you. Oh, we are doing this out of benefit to you. Fine, I guess we're at an impasse. Let's see. I guess we are. Okay. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Or do something. Okay, wait, the hero's saying to drop the blade. Are you sure you don't want to talk? I'm thinking. Narrator is like wanting to talk, uh, to kill. Hero is trying to uh, drop the blade. The, are you sure you don't want to talk? Stare at the princess while holding on to the blade. No. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. Alright, well, I guess we gotta listen to the important voices, the voice of the stupid <laughs> voice of the owner. Okay. I think we're gonna slay it here. We're gonna slay the princess. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Wait, why? What happened to my arm here? A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Wow, she completely rolled me. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Okay. Holy shit, that hurts! Wait, why is the hero talking about how it's hurt? Because you took decades, that's why you were Push unsure. Down. Okay. The shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again. And okay. Fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Oh, so we are getting just demolished, basically, is what I understand. Right. Finish the job. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. We, we understand that, like, you know, she, uh, she at least has some danger to her. You know, like, she is very, very strong. So we're gonna finish the job. And the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Wait, why are our nails like this? Or sorry, not our nails. Why are my nails like this? Am I like a werewolf or something? What is this? I didn't even realize these nails before. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Well, the, the, she's standing, we're not. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? 
If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final okay. time. You feel your ribs break. Dude, she's she so strong. She's punching with this chain on. Your blade deep into the princess's heart. Okay. Oh. Okay. The two of you fall to the floor. Are right, we fall to the floor? This was fun. Okay. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder. Do you really think this is the end? But you don't have time to worry over such things. What? Everything goes dark. And you die. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead now. Chapter. Oh wait, there's chapter. I forgot there were chapters to it entirely. <laughs> You're on a path. In the wait, woods, what? And at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, well I think we got something good. I'm gonna save here again. Basement of the cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. This is the same thing as before. Wait, hasn't this happened? Yeah. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. Hmm. Okay. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep if it. If he way. doesn't. Oh, wait, so the, this guy remembers, the hero remembers. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Voice of the wait, us. this is a new person. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. So this person is now also That's the spirit. Hmm. There's no point in squabbling. Now there's two people against that hill. This this person. Oh, this why should I listen? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Mm. We did our best with the information we were given, and we did kill her. Yeah. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations, you've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? Okay, narrator, uh, I, I understand like what you mean. I think that's a, that's a fair question to ask. Didn't have any consequences. Listen, you're making rather, uh, they actually didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yeah. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time mm. simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Okay. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Ugh, enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and okay, so I don't know what to do this time. The princess awaits. Uh, proceed. To, oh, okay, I could turn around and leave. Let's, let's talk about this princess. The voice of the stubborn is your goat. We killed each other last time. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Okay, all she did last time was how can someone like that and the world she just can believe me i wish i could tell you more but mm. you'll just have to trust that what i'm saying is true and that despite i mean all, she uh, there obviously is the some type of power that she has if she was able to rewind time or something right oh this is maddening why do you keep worse and stubborn oh, stop There's we're gonna ask questions here full picture of what's going on here sure there is it's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting what do you mean time and energy? Yeah, look at our finger. I didn't even realize the pointer. Our finger is like, our nail is a like sickle shape. Who locked her in the basement? 
people locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Hmm. People, why couldn't they slay? Yeah. I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. Yeah, this is interesting. I, I, I really have no this. clue what's going on. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Oh. I didn't know we were special. So, the voice of the hero and, like, me are two different people. But it's like, the voice of the hero talks like if it's me. So, it's... It's so I haven't seen through. I feel so. <laughs> so I feel like I can't yeah, say anything. I like the sound <laughs> I of that. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Hmm. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Okay. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. That's right. If I go to the save things, by the way, where did I save? I saved here, so right there, I guess, is where I would go. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated mm. breath for you to save it from ruin. Proceed to the cat. I could turn. I don't think I want to. I'll, I'll listen to the narrator this time. I'll just go in and then um, kill the princess. Oh, That's what I'm going to do. Before oh. you go any further. Okay, before I go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can mm. lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Wait, do these people all know the princess? Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her, not that it matters. So does the narrator know her as well then? Okay. Are you sure about that? And the hero is the only one that's in the dark. The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will mm. take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with okay. it. Okay. I guess we just proceed into the cabin. The cabin is Wait, it's a it new area. Suggest. It's cold what? stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. Okay, so it's now like a castle room. What is See, this, a mirror? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. What do you mean the cabin has the right idea? H how does this, like, have the, the right idea? Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, you didn't say anything about the mirror. That's yeah. because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, what? and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. Uh, the, I clearly see some wood planks here, and then I see the mirror, and then there's some windows leading outside. There's definitely. Yeah. Mirror. Okay. There isn't. You already wasted so much time. No, this mirror is important. If there's a mirror. I I want to look at myself. No. Approach the mirror. Yeah. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. There's clearly no mirror. Is My yeah, I guess so. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Wait, so the mirror is gone? A ago. Huh. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Uh, explore, take the blade. This, yeah, this cabin is entirely different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Hmm. So the narrator doesn't believe we were a part of this past life then. But the hero knows, so the hero's with us in this. Um, hmm. So focus up. 
the world is depending on. But yeah, uh, let's go with this theory and that the the princess did just you know stay alive. Sorry, because she, because we died and we got transported to a new world or something. We'll take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. And then leave. And then we're just gonna walk up and stab her. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Into the basement. The door to the it is a completely different area. It's not even close to the same basement it was. Walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. It's the same thing from before. Except, like, you know, the stone staircase her now. A fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another chair? Another chair? Yes, exactly. Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. Okay, yeah, we're here to just to slay the princess. Okay, okay, okay we're princess. just slaying it. We're just slaying her. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, okay. the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Yeah, she could. Uh, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick Okay, so she is us. talking about it. What? <laughs> you brought your little knife, too. Yes. Huh. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. I hope that you all are- this is a lot different than the last time, but that last time definitely happened. yeah. Okay, fine. Let's say for a moment I believe you. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke, and beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. You know, we're I gonna keep questioning this narrator. I'm gonna keep, like, until he believes us. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Yeah, but she can as well. So you remember- I'm actually here to- I'm not here to- I'm not saying I'm not here to fight it, but I think the two of us, like how we're both still alive, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Yeah, I think I want to ask her this then. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Hey? Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. So this guy just wants the fight to happen. You look different. Uh, no, I, I'm not gonna ask that. I know what happened to you since the last time, but I'm not, um... Wait, you, okay, you can- I, I guess we're just attacking. We're gonna listen to the narrator, we're not gonna continue this dialogue here. Uh, we saved here, so I'm okay with, you know, what I did. Uh, and then we're just gonna attack. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. You were still hesitating though? Yeah, I, I guess. Um... But I just had to, what is it, prove to the narrator that it was, uh, we were doing the parallel universe. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count, all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line. Dude, who, like, I don't understand who we are. Like, who's our character? But she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking She completely destroys me again. And you right back down to the basement floor. You can hear her chains snap. Oh, wait, she broke the rubber chains. She almost looks disappointed in us. Why is she disappointed in us? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? What do we not get? That knife may be sharp. But you clearly don't want to kill me. 
Really? It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. I guess I did hesitate. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Yeah, so she is broken free from her shame. Let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Mm. Think it through. Don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Okay. Okay, okay. So that's what we're doing. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. They don't. The only way to win. The only way out of Who, this. What is the stubborn? Her. I don't understand the voice of the stubborn. Like, whose side is this voice on? Uh, strike her head on. They didn't opening an out Push over her. The ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. Okay. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have little room to maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each impact threatening to be the last. This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up. We're not overpowering her. I don't know what this this the voice is thinking. There's absolutely no way we're over. Uh, listen, yeah. Literally. It's a little out of the question. Did you think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place, and I own you. Oh, that sounded like it, like really connected. Like that definitely destroyed a lot of book. Like, yeah, gripping the skull. She squeezes, the pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull, and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay. Died. The Eye of the Needle. Alright, time to save here again. You're on oh wait, what? The if you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Okay, so the voice of the stubborn remembers as well. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. Voice of the hunted? Because you didn't have enough of it. You guys need to calm down there. You died because you didn't have enough. Who are these people? So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. So is it, this is not the voice of the hero anymore, or is this a different voice entirely? You suggesting luring her into the woods? May souls of the previously died. That makes sense. That if you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint, what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's good. So the narrator... We've never met. I think the narrator is telling the truth, but we just keep getting voices added to us every time. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin, see this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. Okay, but we know we can't fight her. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other, and I don't. We're still you. an other. That means something. It's evidence of one of many ticking clocks. You can't let her spread any further. Okay. Oh wait, I I thought this was like a rock cliff. No, it's the ground being raised from the floor. Things are always changing. She oh, the cactus have a great knowledge. Yeah, literally. I don't think I even want to fight her this time. Like, I think if I was in this character's position, I would just leave. It's like, I, I can't even, uh, like, fight her. So, if I have the option to leave, I'll probably just do that, because that's probably what I would do in this situation. You're not supposed to have changed. This is supposed to be a path in the woods. If it's not, it means something's gone horribly wrong. What if I don't agree with the plan? What if I'd rather do something else? 
chooser. The best we can do is advise. I'm the choo- Oh wait, I'm the chooser. If you let us. We can help if you let us. Okay, yeah, I want to let These you guys help. Just powerless thoughts and opinions. You don't need to let them drag you and the world to ruin. Uh, it seems like all our answers are in the cabin. Yeah, true, the answers are in the cabin, but... Where am I turning to leave? Right? I turn and leave, where do I go? So... I think you have to just go to the cabin. It isn't long before you find oh, there it is. The, the, the cabin. Path, staring up the hill at the cabin. I hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us? No words of warning? Yeah, the narrator's not saying like anything. You've heard it all before. No this this narrator actually believes us, like, from the beginning. Okay. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. Not the, It's not the previous one that, like, just didn't believe us no matter what we said. This is for when we're finished. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. Proceed to the cabin. The interior There's the of mirror. the cabin is suffocatingly tight. More of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall. A pristine blade perched on its edge. What was that sound? Dude, it sounded like something like above me. Uh, like in the real world. <laughs> the blade is your implement. Your like I saw my mic going to do this pick it right. up as well. Uh, See, I... we have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. Yeah. And the only space is out there. I Take think he's it. right. You never mentioned the mirror. Yeah. Maybe it'll go away again. It's me. I'm in your ceiling. No surplus. It's not even. A, it's it's another floor above me. You you actually moved in above For me. Something to go away. It would have to be there to begin with. Let me assure you, there's no. Okay. Mirror what is this mirror thing? thing? The only thing at the end of the room is the door to the basement. I don't even see where the store is. Mirror or not, we need to be there. The why we pick doesn't matter. I agree with the freak. Let's get a move on already. And worst comes to worst, we can smash it. Wait, so the stubborn last time didn't see the mirror? Or did it see the mirror? I don't think it saw the mirror last time, but the hunted and stubborn now see the mirror. Because I feel like I remember it was just the hero and the chooser, which is me, seeing the mirror. He saw it, he just didn't- okay. I'm gonna take, take the blade. The blade from the altar. Okay, yeah, well, I guess, uh, I didn't- okay. Good. There's no overcoming her without it. We need every part of us to survive, and that steel claw is as much a part of us as any. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it, as if you don't see it. You're rather committed to the bit, aren't you? The door's right there, it's right in front of you. This really is just like last time. Yeah, the mirror is... It smells of nothing, yet it's still there. It smells of nothing, what does that mean? We're gonna smash you the mirror. Your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. Swings open. Oh, the mirror is like, was like right in front of the door. The okay, I thought it was like slightly in front of it. Why am I not surprised? It was in our way, and now it's not. That's all that matters. Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. Oh wait, we're climbing up the thing. Holds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require careful effort. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably it's doing a, her It's favor. the same thing, yeah. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I've never actually seen it. Really? <laughs> a voice, bold and fierce and That's impatient, funny. echoes from the chamber below. You have more fight in you than last time. That was such a disappointing show. 
I know you can do better than that. Go to her. Rile her up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. Okay, rile her up, she'll... Uh... Uh, oh, if you want, then how about you come and get one? I know you can get out of there on your own. Oh wait, no, we're climbing down, not up. But that wouldn't be fun. I don't want to be a monster chasing you down. I want to face you head on. I want an equal. It's so much better that way. Okay. We need to get closer. She needs to see us to give chase. Continue the basement landing then. You've nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey. Oh, so this is okay. We finally made it down to the path here. Ruling foot, but soon there is solid ground beneath you. Okay. Remember every crack and crevice. We'll need to be faster than her. Okay, so the hunter really wants us to. to oh, there she is. The, of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled grins back at you from the darkness her face widens into a dude that is grin. evil <laughs> there you are knife in hand how thrilling attack me bleed me twist the blade in my flesh break your bones against my body dude, why does she have to describe it in this way <laughs> okay She'll kill us in the tight space, steel claw or not. Make her come to us, <laughs> stand beyond her chains, and let her become frenzied. She'll break them. Then we run. Make her come to us, stand beyond her chains, and then let her. I really don't like the sound of this. I mean, what else do we do? Yeah, we do, we'll just die if we try to approach her. Well, what are you waiting for? If we're going to do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. So go on. Make the first move. Don't keep me waiting. Hmm. Go on. Let's talk about we can always fight. We're gonna have a quick no. No no no. We're 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 just we just focus on surviving. Right now our character is in we need to protect ourselves, man. We don't want to experience that pain we went through again. So um Step closer, stopping us outside our chains. Yes. You step forward. Stopping just outside the reach of her chains. The princess scoffs. Oh, you're up to something tricky, aren't you? Oh, yeah, she knows. You're teasing me with what I want, but I'm sick of waiting. I'm not going to let you give me another bad fight. I'm going to get what I want. Okay, so we finally have, we can go outside then. Oh, she breaks it. Eyes, the princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. I like why is the princess even down here chained if she could just break whenever? Without hesitation, you turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge. She's the much taller than like this. Why is she even like holding her arm up to like the the roof like that? I guess probably. Uh, it's too tight, so she has to hold her arm up since it's more taller. As you near the top, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Anywhere you go, I will follow! Yes, okay, that is perfect. We will want our leader outside. Good. Yeah, exactly. Voice the of the Hunted. Hoist yourself up into the tunnel. The cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all oh. this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? What does that mean? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Little bird, little bird. Where do no, you where's she going? at? I have no clue. I can't look behind. We're almost there. Almost. We're there when we're there. Yeah, I think that sounds good, Hunted. And we'll take the fight with us. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. You glance back at the cabin as the princess... <laughs> She's like tall as the cabin! How does she even fit the down the there? You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, it's all over. So get it right. There's nothing left to slow me down. 
Do you think this is better for you? Do you think this space gives you an edge? Then show me. Show me. You know, that now that I'm out here, this probably was the bad head. idea. We probably should have just killed her down there. Do it. Be swift. Strike true. Be where she's not. Let okay, but this is where everyone else, everyone else thinks it's right. We're, we're, okay. We're, we're going. We're going. You leap from the grass and bound towards the princess, keeping low. Charging me head on. Brave and foolish. Her body braces for impact, anticipating the clash. That's where you're both wrong. Left now. Okay. As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends. Okay, nice. We baited her. Unexpectedly. <coughs> Strike. Before okay, nice, nice. Okay, we, we hit her on the leg. Slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. Move Yo, this hunted. Is, the hunted is goaded. You can feel Holy. a already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes, it could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. I'll be damned. We're actually gonna pull this off, aren't we? You just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. Not until it's... okay. Yes, finally! This is the hole I felt in my heart. This is what I've needed. This is what I've been missing. This is how it always needed to end. Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death. The two of you engage okay. in a devastating flurry of blows, each of you wounding Oh, her, like her punches this time aren't like destroying our ribs or like, you know, But you're faster, and the deeper the both of you fall into your yeah. lethal dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. Okay. Oh, keep going, we can't stop now. Yeah, okay. You spy an opening, but this time she's waiting for you. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. You're slammed to the ground. Nothing. These blows are nothing to us. You guys need to both chill. <laughs> Sorry, let's die now. But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. Excuse me. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. Okay. <sighs> You've outplayed me, haven't you? Did we get her? Something feels wrong. Something. And? Then what happens? What is that? What happened there? But you do not have the chance to respond. Something has taken her away. And it's left something else in her place. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? I got an achievement. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh. The narrator's gone. I don't know where she went. Uh -huh. but yeah, because oh, I would, I would imagine our character is gone. like, you it's know, still wondering that. where she is. Awful. It's like it's mocking us. Voice of the Stubborn is still here. Let's just stay still. The narrator is gone. He is. Does that mean the world ended? It hasn't ended. We're still here. That's true. The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. Oh yes, because Dianir, you're an Oni. That's why. Okay, that makes sense why it's your minion. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Yeah. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. That thing reeks of death. Yeah, obviously. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the How princess. are we supposed to find the princess, Voice of the Star What are we supposed to do? I'm begging you, don't do this. Begging you, don't do Why not? The mirror never scared you it's before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Okay. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. 
They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. What am I? What am I? It's me. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I'm solitary lights in an empty city. It is... Okay, interesting. Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Thoughts without connections. A dim mason. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Mm. This one remembers a spark lost in time, and she would stop at nothing to repair. Oh, so these are all people. She will make for a burning heart. Do not mourn her. She is finally. Oh wait, no wait. The hands wants. are speaking, and they've like taken control of her. Do not mourn her. She has finally remembered. What? Wait. Thoughts without connections, a dim- wait, no. Yes, nerves and fibers. Pros perspectives to make my own. This one remembers a spark, and she would stop at nothing to reclaim it. She'll make- This one remembers a spark lost in time, so it's what happened in chapter one. She'll make for a burning heart. So- are you- are they saying that this hand is actually the being and it's like taken her? It's taken her. And it's gonna be the heart for whatever their being is. You know, Morna, she's finally remembered what she thought she lost. It's just the end of the world. How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's true. Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Okay, so nobody knows a narrator. What a narrator? The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes oh, so nobody us. knows like she doesn't know the voices that were speaking to me then. It was just her and me. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, okay. and I too yearn to be free. So then what? Okay. Are you the princess? She is part of me. Yeah, she's a part of them. But part of me is her. Okay. Were you always a princess or are you just making her a part of yourself? Yeah. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins? Oh, wait, did I? Oh, yeah, I accidentally cut it off. Does it matter where, where you were... Does it matter where one thing... You are just making her a part of yourself? I think it does matter. It matters to me, at least. Do you know... I think after asking that... Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. 
The moment she, the arrived, moment she arrived here, she was she going, was to, going return to return to me. To me. So where is a hair? The cabin? Or something else? Okay, I gotta go. I might be back tonight or not so possibly. Good night. Okay, surplus. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good rest of your night. If you don't come back. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Okay. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. What? Oh, you only know that there are worlds beyond this place, but you don't know anything about them. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Okay. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. Okay. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. This vessel is a creature, but she can make you forget and if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole. Bring me more. Oh. We will know our freedom. Wait, bring me more perspectives so that I may be whole? Oh. Wait, interesting. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. I've loved and lived, I'm not afraid to die. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found. But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what if I do... What if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I will send us to this place if I help you. Is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Okay. That's the things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. What are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. I am not going back. Wait. But it's, I don't know if this is like... Make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. You won't. Okay. That was that. I honestly got jump scared there. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay. Bring the eye of the needle to her. Okay. Chapter one. Okay. Well, I guess now we can kind of on a path beat her on this woods. a bit. And at the end the of real slay the princess starts here. You'll know it when you see it. And in the basement of that cabin, you're here to slay. Her. You can skip previous by hitting tab on your keyboard or R1 on your controller. Okay. Um, the end of the world. What are you talking about? Can I go through here? It says skipping. But I don't see it really doing anything. Don't. Look. While I... Does it? Oh. Are you serious? No, you have to oh, do okay, it. Oh, okay, okay. He's like, okay. No, you have to do it. You can say that maybe I'm okay with the world ending. Of course. Yeah. There gets some reward. Oh, we didn't see what the it's... reward is. Then I guess... Okay, let's proceed to the cabin. This time we're... N no, no, no. This time we want to just take the knife and go in. I think that's what I want to do. Take the blade. You take... Uh, enter the basement. We're just going to continue down the You're stairs and stab her. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward. 
your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Fine, what makes you think that you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? Okay, yeah, I've seen this. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Okay, we're gonna slay her. You That's all we're doing. Without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Okay. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying. She, she believes herself to be alive and well. Alive what? Well. So like she's dead, but she believes but it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over. Uh, I'm not sure. I feel like it has to be. It's yeah. over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. Oh, he doesn't want us to do that. Then why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. I've told you everything that's happened dead. with complete accuracy. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Okay, so we're gonna check her pulse then. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Oh, wait, wait we... We feel that? that she's alive. You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat. Followed by another. A and another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Oh... Something sharp digs into your side. The what did sending your what even killed us? Frenzy. I won't be dying alone, so she is gonna die. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. Where did she get a blade of her own? As you fall, she falls with you. And even before she didn't want to fight, she life or so she didn't pull out the blade. She just punched rapidly. us. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. Yeah, we did manage to take her Whatever with you. Yeah. that's worth. That does make sense. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Razor. Oh, this is a different chapter, too. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a prince. This time the forest is yeah, the forest is still the same. You're here to slay her. I re if I remember the razor if you was don't, uh it will be the end of the world. Different. Uh a terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Okay, first time either of us have been here. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best. This whole thing's a crop of <laughs> Wait, voice of the She's cheated. This is something different. And stab us again. We're gonna pull a knife nowhere and stab us again. So stubborn was last time. Where? Okay. Stabbed to death. And you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Yeah, thank you, voice of cheated. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. 
I wonder. So I, we'll have to get to this ending over here. See what happens. What happens if we just? We have no memory right now, so this is a different person. We're, we're just gonna turn around and leave. And away we go. Good call. Seriously, you're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Uh, let's say the okay, fine. Like, yes, I definitely. Nope. The only thing is the cabin. It's where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Okay. That's strange. And it, it leads back like to the cabin. Path. Okay, well that's great. Also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Okay, I'm going to the cabin. Turn around again and again. Turn around and leave. You're wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. No, I think they just respawn. That's what I think. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. But everything is getting... Oh, the narrator is not... We've lost the narrator again. What's going on? Where are we? Oh, here we are. Once again. That son of a bitch flipped over the table, didn't he? The voice of the cheated uh, comes in, or is, or is it completely silent? The world around you, physical matters are replaced by textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder, something other comes close. You already know what dwells in the empty space. Feelers probe around the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across your gl the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. The world is beyond, broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There's only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. Okay. You're on a path. You're here to... Um... Someone else. Okay, I've already done this. Do I get? Uh, Sonny, continue to the cabin. That's just all we're gonna do. Make your way up the short path. And we will just. What if we enter the basement this time? Or you know what? No. What if we just go full on like a kill path? Like that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna kill. That's all we're gonna do. Kill and walk away. Uh, take the blade. Enter the basement. Continue down the stairs. You're still listening to reason. And uh Step forward. Slay the princess. Of course yes, there, she's dead. Exactly. It's over. Okay. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs. Closing the door to the basement behind and There we go, outside. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in. Okay, well that, that's a good thing. Place. Now let's see what happens but if we just follow what the narrator said. Let's just get out of here. Let's leave. You open the cabin door. Ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you mm. find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now... Okay, so the there's still this, like, empty empty threads or whatever. Away. You know, like, you know, or these, uh, these threads that just what cover us up. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. 
Don't worry. Your also, decision. the narrator does know. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Okay. Everyone is fine. Okay, so by killing them, we move everything away. What's done is done. And there's no going back now. This is what's best for everyone. Okay, so Trust the narrator wants us to kill and just walk out. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's Oh, but the narrator is still here with us. Okay, never mind. Years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Uh, didn't the, you hear I'm happy? Hell, do you have any idea how to get us out of here? Yeah. I do. Okay. But you're oh, probably he does not know. going to like it. All right. Oh, we have to go back to the blade. princess. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. Yeah. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. What if we it want wants this, this happy wonderful like, place? What if we just to want this end. to end? Sorry, we want this to continue. What if we do just not. There's more for us to do. And Let's the see what only happens. Way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Uh, wouldn't you, using the blade, you know, kill us? Wouldn't we be dead? You're right. I didn't like. I'm just gonna stick around and do nothing for at least. What's a okay. relief? I suppose we've got all the time in the world for you to change your mind. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is, not happy. Happy. Ha still has time begins to meaning. lose its meaning. Hmm. Like it just everything Please is just. Shake yourself once. out of it. We have to get out of here. The Are there more dialogues? Fall on deaf ears. Eventually you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. So you just, uh, like our person is just sitting there. Good ending, you did it, you saved everyone. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. There is no going back now. Didn't you hear the narrator? We're happy. Mm, okay. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? So it doesn't allow us. So I wonder if that was the first option we did. If this is all we did, we walked away and was fine. If there would be something different because we're not a part of her like completion or whatever yet. Good, because I have an idea to get us out of here. Okay, it. we've already done this. So you're probably not going to the blade. I can hear everything you. He's right. Do you hear that? Uh, Do you not? Don't you? Would you choose anything to? Yeah. How astute! You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. Okay, so the second probably we go down and take the knife out of the princess, we'll probably we die. die. But looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. Okay, I know using that the blade. Voice so I wonder why the hero is so adamant on using the blade then. Uh, if we, I'll be pretty upset if we die. If we die, die, you can yell at me all you want. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. Oh, this narrator is pissed. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. Is the princess still gonna be there, I guess? The princess's oh, body yeah. is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Hmm. Wow, so yeah, it has definitely been a blade, very long time. You yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you.
The Spectre. Okay, this is a new new thing. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Okay, wait, this is... It will be the oh, wait, no, I have not seen this before. You're in for... Now, I'm wise to your tricks. Okay. This is new? My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I should be able to skip... I don't know how it... Uh... That's fine. It oh, the voice of the cold. This one is new. Time. We'll just okay, yeah, I always forget that new voices appear. It was fine. It was, wasn't very hard to kill last time. We'll just do it again. Yeah. Wait, welcome well, back, Sir Plus. For whatever reason, you're going to insist that this has happened before. At least your heart's in the right place. Let's proceed to the cabin, then. A warning before you go any further. Okay, what's the warning? Is this stuff she that I've seen before? She will cheat. Okay, no, because I think the voice of the coal has stuff to chime in new. Her. Don't believe a word she says. She won't be a problem. Proceed to the cabin. So, yeah, depending on your first choice, you get new. Also, I got my first paycheck yesterday. Let's go! Nice, surplus. I'm happy to hear that. Old. A soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Oh, this is a completely new cabin. I didn't get to see the cabin when I got you the voice of the chief because I just turned and left. The against the I have money for once in life. Nice. Nice. nice! What do you plan to use it on? An elegant you plan to get more monkey wrench stuff? Blade perched on the edge. Uh, the only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the, the edge. Is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I think the time I don't take my blade is, uh... Excuse me. Is when, like, I'll start from the beginning and not take the blade. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Okay, we're ignoring the mirror this time, I think. We're just gonna take the blade... You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down into the basement. The door to the basement oh, this is like a open, a staircase, like a second store for a wooden a second story for a floor. Everything is. Principal, just save money for now. Doing a real life challenge run of trying to never get in debt and a valuable shit. A real life. That's a wow. That's what he called it. A real life challenge run to never get debt. The princess lives here. I mean, that is a good challenge run to have. I think. The princess of Senor would probably be doing her favor. Every single time, it's slaying her would probably be a favor. Naturally, as much as I appreciate the optimism. You shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. I guess we will have to just go down and see. As you descend, oh, so now we have the. I didn't realize we have the blade. The princess comes oh, the view. princess is just dead the here. Skeletal body, lying in a heap on the floor. Its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Oh, so this time she's not a demon. Wait, what? Okay, she's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your oh, now thought, she's a ghost. the top of her head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's oh, going the narrator on? is completely in the dark as well. G -g -g ghost. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this guy is not here. Absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Okay, what's the problem with how the last meeting went? The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Mm. Her touch is cold and ethereal, 
formless yet real enough that her icy fingers are we gonna get like just different forms stars. of the princess we have like demon princess we have ghost princess like what else are we gonna have we're gonna have zombie princess like i don't know what else we're gonna have so she has a body and she's right there that means we could kill her again if we no i don't to. think we want to this time wait and see how things play out yeah well, i did bring the annoying knife again so are you waiting for a chance to use it or are you here for something else what's something else what is, like, you didn't ask what is your see that's actually like, this already happened we kill her yeah yes obviously things are strange right now i think it's safe to say that you've seen something something you shouldn't have seen whatever worlds you've hopped between whatever versions of me you've met none of that matters now there's no changing what's already happened but you have a job to finish how do we stab finish? this princess how we already did what you told us and now she's a ghost there's so many branching options in this game you haven't tried slaying her yet this time though have you and then what and then you'll have saved the world. I think he's asking about what happens after we save the world. If that's even still an option. Yeah. What do you mean, after? You already know what we mean, don't you? So why don't you go ahead and tell us? Are you going to try Yeah, that's true. Spoiler? The narrative is good. Yeah, why do we even want to slay again? her again? Yeah. Because I didn't much care for that. I don't... We don't want to... Um... I'm not going to lock you anywhere. I'm not going to lock you what anywhere. An interesting choice of emphasis. oh yeah sure i'm not gonna lock you anywhere okay if the cold didn't point that out i would not have noticed that okay i killed you what are you doing not be dead do you know why you came back how should i know why does anyone come back hey have i finished business with you or maybe you haven't finished business with me. Okay. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. But not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older oh. and deeper. So something from before. I guess she has I'm still... Not I'm not supposed to... Stay. Oh, because even the, uh, the ending we got the first time, it said that she remembered something that she apparently forgot. So this is her still not knowing what she remembered. I killed you, what are you doing not being dead? And what's this? Uh, I'm sorry, I should have killed you. Do you want me to die? I'm sorry, is there any way? These people who wanted you dead tricked me. What do you want from me? I died too, and I'm not floating. What happened? Why are you. Why am I different? Why are you different? Yeah, this one. You don't look dead, killer. Yeah. The princess grabs your wrist, a sudden shock of cold flowing all the way up your arm, her eyes still fixed on yours as you try to squirm out of her grip. And you don't feel dead, either. Yeah, I guess I... yeah. She lets go and pulls away. Your fingertips tingle painfully as the chill subsides. She just seems very innocent right now, you know? She's like... I'm less interested in why you are, or how you are. And a lot more interested in what you are. Have you figured anything out? Uh... I don't really know. I saw that there was the person at the end that we kind of talked with. Um... But that's really it. Like, I, I don't really know much. She, we know that she remembered something. Before you came back but we don't know what she remembered, but then, like, you know, we got our memories wiped. And, yeah. Even the spaces between the walls. So every each, even the spaces. I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. I just wanted to go home. I'm so cold and alone here. So this time she just wants to go home. It's not like before where she just wants to fight. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. I can't come and go as I please because I guess no. This is a different timeline. <sighs> Okay, well, she's been very, you know, gentle and stuff up until now, but this is, uh, this is a bit scary. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let yeah. that happen. It would be 
catastrophic if she managed to escape this place. And if you let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now, isn't that an interesting thought? Hmm. We Which should be able to see us. Face, to face with him. I wonder what she. Would oh, have to you say mean like the viewing the? the yeah, but I already know how so myself bad. looks like in the other life. I know this life doesn't, but I don't need the way. Like I don't need to see us now, since I I know. Like I don't need to look in the mirror to understand how we look like. I don't know what we look like even after looking into the mirror. So. Wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead so badly. You won't like how things play out if you go down. Do you this know path. how things will play out if we go down this path, narrator? We need to talk about what happens after. I told you, end the world. Yeah. And what? You just, you just believed that? You killed, killed me without giving it any thought. thought? That's cold. But when we stab the princess, she says like you think that would really kill me. So she knew That's something. She's coming from her. Every time she touches us, it's like we freeze over. She's right, but that's neither here nor there. What's done is done. What we do from this point forward is all that matters. Let's try not to let emotion get the better of her. Okay, obviously what's wrong with me. How could you have ended the world if all it took? What are you gonna do? If I help you get out of there, what? Uh. The only thing I've ever wanted was to leave this place. It's still the only thing I want. Okay. Um. Even if you don't want to end it, does letting you out mean that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a it good does. question. Ask. It does. Wait. So she doesn't want to end it, but it will end. We're not asking you. We've heard your whole speech already. I really, really don't, don't know. know. I'm not lying to you. I promise. I believe her, but I also think I believe the narrator. I think the world does end if we let her out, but she doesn't know. The world doesn't matter. All I remember is that I'm supposed to be... Oh! There. Not so here. somehow she was pulled away from that being. It's its home, I think. Oh, okay. But what does it mean for anything to end? I, I ended, but I also didn't. And you and ended you too. too. But here you are. And you don't, and you don't even look different. any different. I'm not so sure endings are real. That's a meta thing about this game, right? What are you gonna do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll just fade away. Finally able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Hmm. Maybe I'll haunt you. No, that's her eyes looking out to the side. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses. The frigid So, but why does she ask us to, like... Um, you know, possess us. Why doesn't she just do it? You know, does it it's something we have to agree to? She pulls back with a playful giggle. <laughs> I don't think most living people could answer that either. Does anyone actually know who they are or what they want? Hey. Okay. Uh, well, where are you going to end the world? I don't know. I just wanted to leave. I still just want to leave. Okay. I killed you. What are you doing not being dead? Stop playing the victim. I'm sorry. I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to uh, kill myself? Because I already did, and that wouldn't be hard to do again. Are we putting this to a vote? Because personally, <laughs> I'd prefer if we didn't die again. Well, I I am the one that's talking here. That's what it comes down to. Also, we know that's that she doesn't hear to. any of these voices. I don't or she doesn't know any of this exists. It's just us. Just yet. Oh, that's sweet of you to offer. But killing yourself wouldn't help either of us. 
it would seem that everyone here is in agreement except for you. I shouldn't have to tell you that you shouldn't kill yourself. So please, try to keep your suicidal tendencies in check. Hmm. Like I said, I just, I just want, want to go home. Okay. I'm sorry, I killed you last night, I should have done that. I'm sorry, is there any way? No, I, I, you killed her? I don't think saying sorry is something that to like make up for. She's gonna say, okay, if you're gonna make up for her, then let, let me possess you. You poor thing. That must have been so frightening for you. You missed what she- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, after everything we've been through, it's nice to see someone find- Go back! With us. This whole thing's been- This game has- Did someone clip it? You could probably just go back in the VODs and see it. She doesn't mean it. It serves you right. Yeah, so I knew that was, like, coming. I scared, too. When you stood there not saying a word, with a knife clenched in your fist. But now you know how bad it hurts to get stabbed in the chest. It sounds like you got exactly what you are owed. Um... Okay, I'm... Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? <laughs> Why is this asking the voice? Is it in your head? Okay, team, I'm out of ideas. Thoughts? I killed you. What did you do? So stop playing the victim. You threatened me last time. I'm sorry. I should kill you last time. No, we're not saying I'm sorry. After we killed her. If I knew I'd end up having to talk to you again, you're dead at least mostly. What can you do to even hurt me? No, we're not, like, that's, like, not threatening, but she can definitely do something. If you can, why can't you just leave on your own? I no. wish that's how it works. Okay, team, this yeah. This won't let me go. This place just won't let me go. Hmm. All right. If you're dead, then I guess leave her in the basement, slay the princess. Okay, the answer is no, I can't let you out, I won't let you out. Okay, let's, okay, let the princess present you. Chat, are we cooked? Del Pantino said to the voices in his head. Oh, well, yeah, that's like basically me on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, how'd you know? You know what, let's do this. always try violence. It's worked for us so far. She's a ghost who says ghosts are immune to violence. Do we want to kill her? Common sense? There's nothing common or sensible about common sense. Action and observation hmm. are the only things that matter. Fine, then let me observe that the acts of killing her and killing herself haven't got us much of anywhere. We're still back in this cabin, Okay, yeah, so, true. Her, only now she has a good reason to hate us. Yeah, what if we just That's let her possess us? Point. Do you have any ideas then? I don't know. Maybe we do what she wants. Maybe we let her possess us and walk out of here. We could. It would be something different. Okay, well, two of the voices agree, and I the narrator, I don't really like that much. Not. If you walk her out of here, she's going to end the world. But is that really so bad? Yes, it is by its very definition bad. But those are the only options, aren't they? Violence or doing what she wants. Or just leaving her down here. Mm. Because so I've killed her. Surplus? I can't. So, every single ending I've done so far has led... Actually, no, because there was the ending where I just, like, kind of just walked away. And then did like, just left her there. Um, so, every ending so far that I've done has ended up with killing her. So, what if we just, like, let her free? Turns out the curse. I literally wiped my screen. Yeah. <laughs> Um... I killed you, what are you doing not being dead? She has no clue. Stop playing the victim, you threatened me last time. We could do this. Yeah, but then she's gonna say, oh, you killed- oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, yeah. You probably brought a knife with you. Was I supposed to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the line? Okay, yeah. That knife could have been for any- you know what, yeah, sure. It could have, but it wasn't. You can't blame me for threatening a would-be knife-wielding murderer. Especially when that would-be knife-wielding murderer became an actual knife-wielding murderer. Yeah, true. You know, she has a point. If I knew it, why not have to talk to you when I was slain you? You're dead, or at least mostly dead. What can you even do to hurt me? Okay, we're gonna let the- okay. 
the princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really You're trying, trying to make it up to me, me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? Hmm. <sighs> see you soon. Yep, we'll see you soon. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can, Can we, we get, get a duo? Do You're literally the one that, okay, at, like said to do it. What happened to us? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement. Dude, is she like breaking every bone in our body as she walks? Your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything. Oh, goes she to we collapse the floor? Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings. Wait, this is a your different. Swimming as. So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move. Oh wait, so she now hears the narrator. So, it doesn't work like that for you. Clearly, it doesn't, or she wouldn't have commented on it. Oh, so now she hears everything. Are these shards of broken glass on the floor. Are they also supposed to be you? Wait, well, all these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed hey, to be? I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a so wait, we don't hear the narrator anymore. Oh no, no, no we do hear the narrator because she she heard the narrator initially. I'm clearly the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you? <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm glad you're here with us to be on this journey. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape- More of a of memory than a mind. person. You're more of a... memory than a person. That's rude. You're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously she's nowhere <laughs> to be seen. Because I'm in here with all of you. <laughs> I can't. What is this happening? I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. Okay, so it seems like we've gotten used to her being like, <sighs> uh, 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 she Just like to her possessing you us. Do, you can't leave this place. Also, this is a really long this. chapter too. Like, I'm pretty oh, sure my yeah. first chapter two was not even close to this long. Uh, you can. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time, and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. Okay, yeah, and now she's gonna one hear. Way or another, this is all going That's to end. the narrator is the one telling us Wouldn't stuff. Wouldn't be nice if he ends with it? Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Uh, leave the placement. Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I wish the last chapter two was long so we could have spent more time with the demon princess. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. <laughs> you don't know that. I do. Yeah, so the princess has no clue and the narrator knows something. Well, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. 
It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Hmm. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the Do this voice of the cold, the I like world? really... He is just is like... Sometimes I like him because he agrees with me, and then, but that's the only reason why. When he just goes on his monologues, I just can't. Against the backdrop of the inane the, the mirror is gone, Pear. Voices, Last time I didn't check the mirror, I just entered. The stairs, staggering through the open oh wait, no, because this is, we're coming from the staircase. So the mirror is actually supposed to be on our right. Well, the voice that we're British, I throw myself off a building. <laughs> For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he Why are Jamaican? Okay. Wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you, and I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago... This body wasn't meant... Wait a second, this body me wasn't meant to hold you and the princess. So this body was made for a specific purpose, to come and kill the princess. But why was... Does the body made... Why was this body made specifically to come and kill the princess? Trudge forward, that's the only option. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me. But anyone. you're the entire reason. <laughs> We're the entire reason that you're a ghost. I mean, I appreciate it anyway. Hand and rested on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Also, wait a second. If she could explore the entire house, why couldn't she wait until we were at the door to possess us? Right? We could have walked up here. She Then she could have possessed us at the door, and then we could have walked out, and we didn't have to go through the entire house with her being, you know, possessing us and struggling. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Open the door. Let's go. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it, and then the door groans open. They're really building up this, uh, collapse to the ground. To leave. You and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Oh, he faded out. Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone, and so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never? What is the hero saying right now? Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great idea. Pick up a passenger and take her to her destination. You feel a lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. Um, you actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, Paul. Don't mention don't mention it. The hero can't hear. This was where I meant to be. Okay, so now she remembers again. Oh, and the hands, the hands uh, come and collapse on on her again. Whatever it's called. You didn't get the chance to time the chance to respond. No, really, ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a? Is this a dialogue I saw before? Why no. Is it here? No, probably because the voice of the cold has something to chime in. Um, this is the end. For, it's just going to be okay. Just, we've been here before, and you always get scared. It feels so bad. 
like looking into it right now. It's oh, because it's the end for the hero, but not for him. Like the dialogue option said. Oh, okay. To comfort him. It's not where it's just gonna be nice. It's the end for you. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Whatever makes you happy. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. And now my reflection is here. The bloat, you've grown. I don't know what that means. Like, I can't really see a difference, but apparently I have grown. Why do you look like... <laughs> That's what we're trying to figure out. We don't really understand what's been happening. We're just stuck in like limbo and we're like constantly being sent back to like repeat different endings. So I'm not sure what's happening. We'll probably have to continue this tomorrow. I thought this would be a, this would be a one stream game. I didn't realize that it was this lengthy of a thing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Oh, there she is. Oh, now this is ghost form. This is no longer a demon form, which makes sense. When I found you in the long quiet alone, I was terrified. What if you had decided to let me wither? But your commitment now is final. Your ability to walk the path of mutual annihilation is vanished with your return. If you still wish to obliterate me, it will have to wait until I am complete. Flickering lights and empty It'll space probably be good three to four more streams before you get the true ending. Seriously, wow, okay. I am okay. more than I was before. Is it a very specific set of things I have to do to get the true ending? Or is it, uh, you know, is it as long as I keep following the story, I'll get the true ending? Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Whenever you're ready, uh, are you the same as you were? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues. No, keep doing what you're doing and you'll end up there. Okay. I am different, but I am the same. Everything you say feels like a riddle. Can you give me a single straight answer? I'm sorry. Words are difficult for me. They never fully weave what I wish to say. If you do not like my answers, then you need not ask me questions. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more meaning than anything words could say in the spaces between. Okay. The vessels you choose to bring me carry far more- Okay, so these hands... ...want these vessels, and the vessels are always the princess, but why is this one princess of many different vessels? What does it feel like to change this? Or what does it feel to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together. This isn't I have no mouth, but I'm a screen. You don't have to do an exact nonsensical series of events. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. And to know you. How much more is there? Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, you know what? At the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find hmm. new Interesting. horizons to discover. What? When I go back, it's as if those invisible walls... An invisible wall closes around me. Why can't I not do the same thing I've done before? Oh, so you can't choose the same dialogue options as before? I never even realized that. 
Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. Okay. You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met, thank you. You've been kinder to me. What do you want me to bring you next time? We'll wait until, for the kind so until like later on. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Okay. Joy is in seeing what you choose. Yeah, you can only do each path path once, which means no more demon or ghost mommy. Okay. But there's gonna be like different like what is it? There's gonna be different themes, right? Like this one's ghost, then there's demon, and then like you know what I was saying before. There's gonna be like different versions of her. Like there's gonna be zombie. There's gonna be like I don't know, whatever other like. There's gonna be other versions of her. Is what I'm guessing. Like, what would be her being alive? I don't know. I have no clue. We'll see. I don't know why she turned into a demon, though. That's what I don't get. Like, ghost makes sense. She died, she turned into a ghost. I don't get the demon, though. Do you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change your girl? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. Um, I don't want to hurt you, but the more times, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel? Yeah. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more. And any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. Okay. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. So they are not, they are not okay, okay, interesting. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I could tell you why you could have technically figured it out by now, but it's slightly spoilery. Okay, well, I'll wait then. And without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side. Or actually, no, because you've I technically figured it, but it's like, okay, slightly spoilery. Then hold off on it for a bit. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky. Okay, but this is and I yearn different text. Because last time I think I asked that, she said, like, something else. But, like, I think now this means I am further along. You will have your rest in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Uh... Why? Or thank you. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Hmm. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream of a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for a yearning heart. Okay. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Okay, interesting. You can destroy your body if you wanted to. I don't think I'll do it. I don't I, I don't want to do these options. Okay. But I think I will uh stop here for um for today. I think that is a good uh good place to stop. We got two or technically three endings. I'm gonna say the other one's like a half ending. Or actually no. We got two half endings. We got the ending where we just walk away twice and then they like uh, the being gets mad at us and then we got the ending where we just sit in like bliss in the uh in the in the room so these are but the we got we got two vessels for this being so i'm really not sure what's happening I, I was not expecting this at all going into this game it's very interesting i'm liking it a lot um but yeah i think that'll be it from me for today then um yeah well, thank you for everyone who stopped by the stream. I appreciate it. And I will be back with more Slay the Princess then, uh, tomorrow. 
All right. All right, Surplus. I hope you have a good night. Um, and uh, I will... Yeah. Uh, hopefully your tooth doesn't uh, act up. 